Okay, let's do our warm ups and get ready for a little, well, let's do abs today. So focus on your core, get your mountain pose situated evenly into your feet, everything stacked for support, and then really focus on getting the muscles in your midsection supporting your spine. So take the bottom ribs toward your spine and then up, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, and just feel that support through that midsection. And then inhaling, bring your arms up, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep your shoulders down, and then bring your hands behind you, clasp them together, Lift your heart, hands toward the floor, and just feel that stretch in the back there. And then pivot at your hips, exhale, come on over. And just deepen into your forward position as much as you'd like. Let that back get a little bit more stretched out. Tuck in your chin, move your neck around, and bring your hands toward your head. <clears throat> Knees bent and slowly wind from the bottom of the spine back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and again, a nice back bend for the spine. And on an inhalation, come up, release your arms, take a moment, feeling your circulation increase and a little bit more flexibility. And then arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, Go ahead and pass them and bring your arms next to your ears as you clasp. Reach up through your head, keep your body facing the front and stretch the side of your body, just straight to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra rib opening. Make sure your top shoulder doesn't lean forward, so maybe pull it back a little bit. And then inhale back up, keep the shoulders down and switch your other hand to the front. And again, lengthen your spine, sitting bones and climbing away, and still facing the front, lean over to the opposite side. So reach out through the hands, down into the foot you're leaning away from, and feel those ribs stretch apart. Inhale back up, and release to mountain pose. So again, just take a moment, feeling what's going on in your body. Remember, that's the yoga process. And we'll do our twists. So remember, base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart so your bones have a room to twist. Bring your arms at shoulder level again, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and just clasp your elbows. Stretch that spine apart for the twist, and exhale either side. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come on over. And just deepen into your forward position as far as you'd like. Keep your arms next to your ears. Pull in your body toward your leg if you like it. Lift your sitting bones for those hamstrings to get a good stretch. And then stay in your twist. Work your way up. Look toward the ceiling. Keep the shoulders and shoulder blades down. And pull the elbows back. So you're coming into the upper body back, but not the lower back while you're twisting. And then inhale to the top. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms. Lengthen your spine apart again for the twist to the opposite side. And another breath in, and as you exhale, come on over. And again, just deepen as much or as little as your body wants today. Keep lengthening through your whole spine. And then in the twist, work your way back up. Lift your heart, shoulders down, elbows back. Look up, stretch your neck as well as your spine, but again, gentle on your lower back. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up, extended mountain. Give yourself a good lengthening through your whole body, so crown really reaching toward the ceiling. And then let's swan dive, so core active as you pivot at the hips. Just come parallel to the floor. See if you can stretch everything out a little bit more. And then drop it around down. Just hang a moment. Take a breather. And if you like the stretch on your spine, bring your hands behind your calves and give yourself a little bit more stretch. 
And then arms to the front. <clears throat> and again, drop the sitting bones, lift the ribs, slowly wind your leg up and shoulders back and down into mountain pose. So a little bit more activated through that midsection. We're gonna focus on the ribs and just kind of move them around. <clears throat> so keep your shoulders above your hips, above your ankles, and just get that midsection warming up a little bit more. And as you circle the ribs, just feel this midsection working. And then stop and circle the ribs the other way. Try to keep the hips and shoulders from moving quite so much. Just midsection getting activated and warming up that center of your body. And then bend, angle your toes just a little out. Bend your knees toward your toes, hands above your toes. And we're just gonna move the ribs in and out. So this is a kind of breathing exercise that you can do with it. Inhaling and really sucking the gut in and <sighs> exhaling with kind of explosive exhalation. So in and out, just feeling that core again, warming up a little bit more. And then come on back up and into mountain pose. And just take a moment feeling a little bit more warmth there in the middle of your body. And then arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above. Look up at your hands as you bring the palms together. Nice little back bend and swan dive forward. And again, come parallel to the floor. And the same breathing we just did. So sucking in, lifting the ribs toward the spine and then dropping them down. And then drop into ragdoll. Just hang a moment, let things release. Knees bent just slightly or straighten and get a good stretch on the back of your legs. Lift your sitting bones. Pull in a little further with your head toward your legs. Again, you can pull in with the hands behind the legs if you want. And then arms again to the front. Palms together this time. Wind up. Arms to your heart. Continue all the way up looking at your hands. And again, a nice back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting over. And again to ragdoll. Hands up on your shins into that halfway up stretch. So elbows straight, knees straight, spine straight, everything stretching apart. And again, let's do that breathing. So ribs up and down. Build up that heat because that core is that energy center of energy and empowerment. And as you exhale again, just drop down into ragdoll. And one more time, hands together, all the way to your heart. Continue up and look at your thumbs. Another back bend and exhale, hands to your heart, back down toward the floor. And this time into our child's pose. So come on down. Hips to your heels, hands next to your feet, forehead toward the floor, and relax. Take a moment, just breathing. Stretch your spine. <clears throat> and then sit up and come on into a cross-leg position. And then, of course, remember, sitting bones a little behind you and creatures of habit, yeah. So let's switch the legs so the other leg is in front or on top. And just come into whatever is a comfortable seated position for you today and put your hands cupped around your knees. We're gonna do that same breathing. So ribs back and just round a little bit forward as you exhale. And then inhale, ribs to the front, sitting back up. So again, breathe out. Breathe in. 
And you're gonna make that exhalation as emphatic as it feels good for you. Pulling the ribs back, rounding a little bit. Inhaling, lifting the heart and pulling those ribs forward. So exhale, inhale. And then come back upright. And again, just into that seated position. And let's switch the legs again, just for a little balance. So again, coming into that sitting bones behind you slightly and knees toward the floor as much as they want to. And we're gonna focus on circling the ribs again. So ribs forward to the side, back to the side, and just ribs coming around. Keep your hips and shoulders as lined up as you can, not a lot of motion there. And just feel that core working and getting even more warmed up. And then again, stop and go the opposite way with the ribs. In and out, all around. Just feel those ribs moving, that core working to make that circle on your body. And then coming back to neutral, just take a moment there and breathe. And we're going to go on to our backs. So feet to the end of the mat into staff position, get nicely aligned and feel that core. So remember, ribs toward your spine and up to keep that support on your spine. And then we're going to slowly use that support to roll down. So coming to the safe room, down to the lower ribs, to the shoulder blades, and the whole body slowly coming down onto your back. Just shoulders down, hips relaxing down, feet hip width apart, and hands, palms up at your sides. So just a moment of recline integration, you can release that core for a moment. And we're gonna work a little bit with a uh, heart raising position. So you're not gonna wanna use your head and neck that overstrains your neck. So what you're gonna wanna do is focus on this upper heart area. And when I say lift up, lift up from that heart, not from your neck and shoulder. So you're not gonna round your neck and bring your shoulders up first. You're gonna lift your heart first. Fingertips toward your toes and flex your feet with the toes up. Press that core down and then lift your heart and reach your hands toward your toes. So just come up as high as feels good. You can keep your shoulders more or less on the floor or you can call, come up onto your shoulder blades and you know, whatever's right for you. You can look and see if you can see your toes and then push your hands a little further toward them. If it starts straining your neck, just take your fingertips to your head and kind of press your head back into your fingertips so that you're not pushing your fingers into your head, but you're pushing your head back into your fingertips so your neck doesn't get overstretched and worked. And then keep your elbows straight out to the side if you're doing that. Otherwise, just keep reaching those fingertips toward the toes and feel that core working a little bit more support. And then slowly exhale and bring your body back down. <clears throat> Take a moment, just breathe. And then we're going to gradually increment that. So again, if you need to keep your fingertips behind your head, that's okay. But keep pressing your head back down, not lifting it up. Otherwise, your hands, palms up at your sides. Lift from your heart. Push your hands towards your toes. Again, you can flex the feet and just come into that core activating position. Then we're gonna raise the right leg slightly off the floor. Not a lot, just a little. And you're gonna push out through the bottom of your foot as well as with the hands toward the feet. So just keep lifting through your heart. If this is getting too much for your neck, remember, push your head into your fingertips with those elbows straight out to the side. And then when you're feeling a little bit warmer there in that midsection, you can put your foot down and then exhale your upper body down. 
And again, just take a moment, relax that core, just keep breathing. And of course, we're going to balance the body. Yeah, do that um, the other way. So once again, fingertips towards your toes, palms up, shoulder blades, of course, always towards your waist, heart lifting, and get those hands positioned if you need to behind your head. And again, flex the feet, press out through the bottom of the left leg, and lift it just slightly off the floor, so maybe six inches. Push your fingertips toward your foot, push the foot away from you, and lift the heart. And again, don't forget if you need to, take those hands behind your head, but press your head into the hands. Don't lift the neck. Press it out, keep breathing. Feel that core doing some work. And then again, exhale, bring the foot down. And exhale again, bring the upper body down. Take a moment, just relax, take a breath. And of course, we're going to do both feet, yeah, together. So once more, when you're ready, fingertips behind your head or not, fingertips are reaching toward your feet, if that's working for you. And again, the core or the heart lifts and that core activates a little bit more. Reach the shoulder blades and fingertips toward your feet. If you're in that position, flex the feet. And again, press the back down as you just raise those feet slightly off the floor. You'll feel this more, lower the feet closer to the floor if you need to. And don't forget to breathe. Put your fingertips behind your head if you need to. Activate that core, really work it out. And then feet to the floor, upper body down. And take a moment just to relax. Let that core release any tension. Deep breath, exhale in tension. And then sitting bones towards your heels, bend your knees, bring the heels in towards your hips. Press your back down, draw your knees up towards your heart, and just give yourself a nice hug. Let that whole belly area just relax. And then head down, <clears throat> feet down. Hands down and legs down. Just take a moment feeling all that work that your core has been doing, making it a little bit warmer through that midsection. We're going to bring the arms to T position, shoulders down. You can keep your hands, palms up, or you can bring the hands to the floor. <coughs> Sorry. Hands to the floor. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, that's a little bit more stable. Sitting bones towards your heels, press the back down, keep the legs straight, or you can bend it first and bring the foot up. You're going to bring the right foot up toward the ceiling. So you can either raise it straight leg, or you can bend the leg and put it up if that's something that's better for your body. And again, head stays on the floor initially, and we're putting, pushing that foot straight up toward the ceiling with the heel flexed and the toes pulling back toward your head as much as they want to. And again, just take a moment there, nice stretch on the back of your leg, pull that core way down toward the floor. So those ribs coming down toward the floor, giving you good support on that leg. And we're just gonna slowly lower the leg. So using the core for support, just slowly bring that leg down toward the floor. Breathe with it. You can exhale all the way down if that works best for your body. Sometimes that helps. Bring it just to hover above the floor, pressing out through the bottom of the foot, and then slowly bring that leg back up toward the ceiling. And as it gets back up, just take a moment again, pausing to press that foot up and pull the core ribs and belly down toward the floor. And one more time, we're gonna lower it this time all the way to the floor. So pressing out through the heel and the foot, toes pulling back toward your head. Use the core for support as you slowly lower the leg again to the mat. And as it gets down this time, just go ahead and release and relax that side. Take a moment to breathe. 
And we're going to do the second leg. So again, we can bend the knee first this time. Or you can keep the leg straight as you bring it up toward the ceiling. Get it as straight as you can comfortably. Press the bottom of the foot up. Toes back toward your head. Shoulders and shoulder blades down toward your waist and down toward the floor. And again, activate the core, really maximizing that support. And we're going to use the left leg this time and using the core support, lower the leg slowly to the floor. So just pushing out through the foot, letting that leg come down. Again, hover just above the floor as you get more than you do. Press that through the bottom of the foot still. Keep that core pressing down. And shoulders and shoulder blades toward the mat and your waist. And again, we're going to slowly lower that leg or raise that leg back up. And again, just bring it up perpendicular to your body, reaching up with the bottom of the foot toward the ceiling or as high as you can go. Take a moment again. Core activating, pressing out through the bottom of the foot. And we're going to slowly lower the leg, this time all the way to the floor. So go ahead and just use the core, keep breathing, or just keep exhaling if that's the more operative way for your breath to help you work that leg all the way down. And whenever it gets to the mat, just totally relax, feel that core release. Breathe deep. Let the tension go. And yeah, so we balance the body with both those legs working, but now we're going to go a little bit further and do both legs together. So once again, sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down, core activated. You might want to turn the hands, palms down if you have them up because this is going to need a little bit more support for many people. And again, you can bend the knees and bring the feet up, or you can raise them both as they're straight, up right above your hips to the ceiling. And again, press out through the bottoms of your feet, press the back down, get the core nicely activated for support, and don't forget to breathe. And again, pull the toes back towards your head, get everything as stretched and straight as you can in your legs, and use that core for support. And again, slowly lower the legs, just hover over the floor. Yeah, so this one's going to be a little bit trickier. If you miss them, you go all the way to the floor, that's okay. Keep pressing up through the bottoms of your feet wherever you go. And as you hover, just press the back down a little bit more. And we're going to raise the feet back up. So again, just as slowly as feels right for you, shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands, palms down or up, feet flexed and back up all the way toward the ceiling. And again, push out through the bottoms of your feet, push down through the core, keep breathing, <clears throat> and we're going to lower the legs again. Once more, keep that core working for you, hands up or down, your choice. And we're going to slowly again bring those legs to the mat. This time it's going all the way down. Keep pressing back through your feet as you lower. You can pause halfway and really feel that core working, or you can just keep going all the way to the floor. <clears throat> when you get your feet all the way down, bring your hands, palms up near your side, and just let yourself have a little reclined integration, letting that belly release. Take a moment and breathe. And as you relax, <clears throat> we're going to do a little bit more work with the sides of your body this time with that core. So sitting bones toward your heels, press the back down, bending your knees, and bring the heels in right near your sitting bones. Knees straight up, so remember a little roll head at the top of the thighs to make sure your knees aren't spreading apart. Press the core way down into the floor, sitting bones slightly more toward your heels if that works for you. And we're going to do that heart raising bit again. So again, <clears throat> you can keep your fingertips behind your head and press your hands into the fingertips 
where you can reach your fingertips towards your toes and come up. So just go ahead and come up as high as heels good for you. Shoulders or shoulder blades or wherever still on the floor. Reach those hands towards your fingertips or have those fingertips reach your fingertips towards your toes or have those fingertips behind your head. Elbows straight out to the side. And we're either going to move the hand toward the foot on one side, shifting that whole body so you feel the stretch on the side. Or if you've got your hands here, move the elbow in that direction. You want to feel those ribs opening while you're still raising through your heart. So move it to the side and then back to the center. And then we'll go to the other side and back to the center. And just a few times here, keep that core pressing down. Keep breathing. And again, those fingertips can be holding your head with the head pressing down, not pressing the fingertips up into the head with the elbow motioning toward your feet. So whichever way you're doing it, <clears throat> that core or that heart is lifting and that core is supporting it. And just after you do that a few times, feeling those ribs really stretching apart as you move from one side to the other, come back to the center and slowly lower your body down. And again, as you get there, sitting bones toward your heels more and draw those knees up, just knees toward your heart. And then feet to the floor and extend the wings out. Take a moment there and breathe. A little reclined integration once more, letting your whole belly soften and sink. Now we're going to bring the arms out to T position. Sitting bones down towards your heels, back pressing down, and either bending your knees or bringing your legs up. Or again, we're going to bring those legs straight up toward the ceiling. So as you get them up again, toes back toward your head, your heels pressing up, getting that lengthening through the back of your legs and that belly coming down toward the floor. <clears throat> and we're going to, again, work the sides of your body a little bit more. So we're going to lift the heart and reach one foot or one hand up toward the opposite foot. And then bring that hand back down. Lift your heart. Bring the opposite hand up toward your toes or the leg, wherever you can reach, and back down. Raise your heart, reach across, bring it down. Raise your heart, bring the opposite hand across, and back down. Once more, up, hand across, and down. And heart up. Hand across and down. And again, as you get all the way down with both arms on the floor, activate that core even more as we slowly again lower the legs to the floor. And as the <clears throat> legs get all the way down, keep your hands, palms up, straight out from your shoulders. And we're going to do our spinal twist before our relaxation. So we'll do the straight leg twist today. Sitting bones toward your heels, press the back down, bring the right leg up. Again, flex it toward the ceiling. We're going to roll all the way over to the right side. Put to the floor, hands together on the floor, and all the way on your right side. And keep the head on the floor. If you can reach your foot and bring it up toward your hand, hold the foot. Otherwise, fold the leg and bring your right arm with your left hand, right arm up, right above your shoulder, palm open. Back of the hand goes toward the floor, right at shoulder level as you look toward it, coming into your twist. So this is a straight leg twist. And again, going only as far as your body wants, holding your foot or the leg on the floor. That's your activating your lower back twist. Hand coming down toward the floor behind you, just let gravity do that as you Emphasize the exhalations to release the spine ligaments. And just let that arm and shoulder drop down toward the floor a little bit further. 
and head turning for that neck area twist. So just maximize or minimize for your personal practice, doing what's right for your body today. Take a few breaths, just relax. And when you're ready to release, let go of your leg or foot, roll all the way onto your back, adjust as you need to, activate that core, shoulders and shoulder blades on the floor as you flex the heel and let it lower slowly using that core for support. And as the leg gets all the way down, just go ahead and totally relax through the belly. Reposition and adjust if you need to. Hands, palms up still at shoulder level, straight out from your sides. And once more, <clears throat> sitting bones toward your heels. You can bend the knee and bring it up, or you can straight leg, bring that left leg up. Press the foot to the ceiling, core activated, pressing down. We're going to roll to the right side. Head down, hands together in front of you, and foot all the way to the floor. Get comfortable on that right side, and take your right hand, hold the foot or the leg, and bring the left arm up to the ceiling. Palm open, and lower the back of your hand right at shoulder level behind you, looking at it. And again, go as far into the twist on those areas as right for you. Keep pressing the foot away as you hold it if you like lower back twist. Let the hand come as far toward the floor as it's willing to go, letting that spine release in your middle back twist and turn your head for that neck area twist as much as your body likes. And again, take a few breaths there, just relaxing into it. Focusing on releasing tension, letting that hand keep dropping further toward the floor if it's not there already. And again, breathing, relaxing, maximizing the twist for your body, activating for that final relaxation. And when you're ready to release, let go of the foot or leg, roll all the way onto your back, flex the heel, Press the toes toward your head and slowly lower that leg one more time. As it gets all the way down, once more, just relax. And bring your hands near your hips, palms up, and shoulders and shoulder blades down to the floor. Take a breath and relax in corpse position for our final relaxation. So go ahead and just allow your belly to soften. Lots of work in that midsection today. Deep breath, just letting any tension out anywhere in your body. And just feel your body growing heavier, sinking deeper into that earth embrace and let it go. And as your body relaxes without attention, just Notice other thoughts come to your mind. Let them go as well. Body relaxing and mind just drifting. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts, so just let each that comes to you disappear without attention. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to think of your body or anything else. Just let those thoughts drift away. And as your body relaxes into the earth embrace, your mind drifts freely like your breath. Just allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. And allow your awareness to fill with the peace within. Finding that peace and letting it fill your body. Feel your mind and just take a few moments to be peace.
Of course, if you have time to keep relaxing, just relax as long as you would like. If it's time to activate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the room, to the body. And as you activate your body, just move it gently, allowing any parts to move just slowly whenever you're ready. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, draw your heels toward your hips, and then your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however feels good for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you have enough appreciation and hug for today, feet to the floor, head to the mat, roll to the side, and then sit up, getting ready, whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.